DJI cut its teeth building drones. For a while if you said drone you were probably talking about the company's Phantom line. In recent years, the market has filled out and DJI has branched out. This year, we looked at DJI's Osmo Action Camera, Wired recommends 8 tenths, and now it has released an educational robot. Think of it as a drone that doesn't fly. DJI's Robomaster S1 robot grew out of the Robomaster robot competitions in China. It's a consumer version of the robots that kids are building at your local STEM-friendly school. As such, it's not just a robot, it's a learning experience. You build it, program it, and battle other robots with it. Some assembly required the Robomaster arrives in 23 pieces with 101 screws and a reversible screwdriver to assemble it. It took my kids and I about 3 hours to put it together. The instructions contain line drawings and all the parts are labeled so you can figure out what goes where. That said, there's almost no text, just pictures. In some steps, particularly fitting together the wheels, a sentence or two would have saved some effort spent trying to decipher the line drawings. When you're done assembling you'll have a four-wheeled robot with a swiveling turret mounted on top of a shoebox size chassis. The turret can either fire infrared light or small gel pellets. The S1 comes with a bottle of pellets, but you need to soak them for a couple hours until they grow to about the size of a small grape. They don't hurt when they hit you, but DJI has limited the turret's angle of fire to keep the focus on other robots. Certain modes, like tracking a person, aren't available when pellets are in the S1. This robot intends no harm. Everything about the S1 is extremely sturdy and well-built. It's mostly plastic, but it's heavy-duty plastic. When you're done building it, the S1 feels like a solid piece of equipment, even more so than one of DJI's drones. Because weight isn't much of a concern, the S1 can afford to be sturdier than a flying drone. The S1 is well-balanced and very easy to control. Despite my best efforts I never managed to flip it over. One of the more striking things about operating the S1 is that it really doesn't turn, it moves sideways. This design is made possible by the Mechanum wheels, a conventional wheel with a series of rollers attached at a 45 degree angle. The rollers rotate at 45 degrees to the rotation of the wheel, drawing the vehicle sideways. You control the S1 through the Robomaster mobile app for iOS and Android.